How's it going guys, Winter Kills here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be running through six Earth Machine combos you should know if you plan on playing the deck. Some of them start off very, very basic and some of them get a little bit more complicated. So maybe you've seen these, maybe you haven't. But I wanted to get this video out because I did see, you know, a good chunk of people asking for a combo video. And I think this would be a good way to round out the little bit of short-lived Earth Machine coverage we had on the channel recently as a part of our donation incentives for the last one deck one month fundraiser. And by the way, I know it's taking a while, but we're going to get around to the rest of them. I owe you guys a giveaway. I owe you guys uh, Ricka, especially with a new ban list for Saturday Night Locals, Mermel, and DDD. And you guys will also get to decide the next one deck one month that voting will happen at some point in the future. But six Earth Machine combos, we're going to run through those here in just a moment. And before we do, quick shout out to Imperium Duelist guys. Check them out at the link below. They sell all sorts of amazing TCG products and accessories, such as the mat and sleeves you see me using here. Uh, and I'm rocking the brand new sp little knight sleeves here on the extra deck uh, just swapped them out actually and i like them quite a bit very nice and stylish they got the really nice silver inside there so they do have a nice little border around the cards and it does accent very well with a lot of the extra deck colors they've got dice deck boxes play mats binders and more check them out the link below and you can use my discount code winter kills 10 off at checkout to save 10 percent off your entire order and support the channel in the process and if you guys are buying anything on TCG Player, feel free to use my affiliate link found in the description of all my videos. Anytime you guys shop and check out using that link, a small bit of the revenue from your purchase goes right back to the channel and it helps out a ton at no extra cost to you guys. So with all that being said, let's hop right into the first and arguably the most basic combo of the bunch. Like I said, our first combo that we're going to be showing off here is a very, very simple one. It's a one card combo here. And the nice thing about this deck is we actually have six copies of this in the deck. So we have six one card starters, which is really, really nice. And it's a very, very simple combo. It's going to end us on double headed anger knuckle, a draw two with end phase recursion back of the card that we started the entire combo with, with plenty of room to add on with any extenders we might have on top of this. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First and foremost, we're going to start by normal summoning Infinitrack Harvester, activating its effect on summon to add a Infinitrack monster from our deck to our hand. And we're going to add none other than the Infinitrack Brutal Dozer. From here, we're going to activate Brutal Dozer's effect in hand, tributing off the Harvester, and then special summoning it. And once it is special summoned, we'll activate its effect to go ahead and summon a level five or lower Infinitrack monster from the deck. And we're going to go ahead and summon a copy of Infinitrack Trencher. Now, at this point, we have two level fives, so we're going to go ahead and overlay into one of the best cards in the extra deck. That's Infinitrack River Stormer. This card is basically a walking Stratos. It can add or send any earth machine monster from our deck either add it to the hand or send it to the graveyard so what we're going to do here is just go ahead and use its effect detaching the trencher i would recommend definitely detaching the trencher here and we're going to go ahead and add a copy of super express bullet train now what you add here in most cases will change depending on what else you had in your hand but of course for the sake of this combo we have just a hand of blanks that we can't use and now here we're going to go ahead and special summon the bullet train right now you don't have to summon it right now but i like getting bullet train on the field as early as possible just because if our opponent does have nibiru this will get sent to the graveyard and during the end phase we can still add back the trencher or the uh, harvester rather which gets us set up for next turn and i believe this was one two three four this is our fifth summon so we definitely want to get bullet on field right now because if we get the nibiru token we can't summon this because we need to have all monsters we control one minimum be earth machines now from here we're going to go ahead and link off this river stormer into a copy of goliath we'll use river stormer's graveyard effect to send off this machine link to special summon it back from the graveyard in defense and then we're just going to go ahead and link it off again into another copy of infinitrack goliath now we're going to go ahead and link two into ancient gear ballista ancient gear ballista on summon will add an ancient gear monster in that of ancient gear box will activate ancient gears boxes effect we can add an earth machine monster from our deck with 500 attack and or defense so we're going to go ahead and add a copy of infinitrack tunneler this is what's going to allow us to set up that draw two now we're going to go ahead and activate tunneler tributing off the copy of the ballista then we're going to go ahead and link into our third and final copy of the infinitrack goliath and then last but not least we can go ahead and use trencher here to go ahead and summon back the harvester just like this now you could obviously change up the order in which you summon the goliath like there could be a point where you have like 
two of them on the field at one point, but I think playing it out exactly like this is probably just the most efficient way because while it might not be a super pop, super popular card this format, but Phantasmay is a real card. And if we can go through the entire combo with only ever having one Link monster on board, probably gonna be ideal for us. So once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and link into our final Link monster of the turn here, which is gonna be Double-Headed Anger Knuckle, who has a couple effects. First and foremost, can't be used as a Link material. The second effect is during the main phase, quick effect, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target one level 10 machine monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense, but negate its effects. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard, special summon this card. So this card does quite a bit for us, can help us set up quite a bit. Now at this point, we're not done yet. We're still gonna use our tunneler into the graveyard to go ahead and put back Dozer and the these four extra deck monsters back into our extra deck. And of course the Dozer will go back into the deck. Then we draw two cards, and for the sake of the video, we'll just say we draw two hand traps. And then during the end phase, Bullet will be able to add back a machine monster in our grave. So we're gonna take back the Harvester just like that. So all off of one card, we're able to draw two, get the card we started the entire combo with back in our hand, plus that extra ancient gearbox, which is discard fodder. And we'd still have an additional four cards in our hand because that is, uh, we started our turn with, again, with only one card, we had five cards in hand. So we have those four cards in our hand still, the card we started the whole combo with, and we still have these additional cards here. Ending the turn out with a ton of card advantage. So that's it for the first combo, let's go ahead and take a look at the next. So for this next combo, it's gonna look very similar. We do have Harvester in the opening hand, but let's say we also open one of the worst bricks in the entire deck, which is Ancient Gearbox. You obviously saw that entire combo that we just went over, pretty much revolved around Ancient Gear Ballista being able to search out box, which then got us our Tunneler, allowing us to get so many resources by going for that extra draw two, resetting our extra deck, so on and so forth. So what happens if we open Harvester and box? How do things change, right? Things change definitely enough to warrant a separate combo telling you guys what to do. So we're gonna go ahead and start by normal summoning Harvester, much like we did the last combo, still adding a copy of Brutal Dozer. Then importantly here, we're gonna link into an early Goliath because we need to load up that grave as soon as possible with enough targets to be able to resolve Tunneler very early. Now we're gonna go ahead and use Brutal Dozer by tributing off the Goliath and Dozer will go ahead and summon out Tunneler here instead of Trencher. Now we're still gonna go ahead and overlay into one of the best cards in the entire extra deck, River Stormer detaching the Tunneler to go ahead and add a copy of Bullet Train. We'll special summon Bullet Train, getting on the field as early as possible. And then we're going to link into the River Stormer. Now here, normally we would use River Stormer to send off the Goliath, but this combo, things are working a little bit differently. So we're actually not going to go ahead and do that. Instead, we're going to link right into the Double-Headed Anger Knuckle. And we're going to go ahead and use Anger Knuckle's effects, discarding the box to bring back the Bullet Train. And then we're going to use River Stormer, sending off the Knuckle to bring itself back out onto the field. Now at this point, we can go ahead and freely resolve our Tunneler by putting back Knuckle, Box, Goliath, Goliath, and Dozer. Now from here, we'll just put these back to the bottom. And uh, for the sake of this video, we're not gonna make anything like more complicated by saying that we draw into Box again. If we draw into Box again, we're just gonna make Double-Headed Anger Knuckle again and pretty much wrap things up. But we're gonna go ahead and draw into what essentially would be, you know, just like two pieces of interruption, ideally, right? Ashen and Perm. Then from here, we can go ahead and link again into a Goliath, and then we can link into a copy of Ballista, and then Ballista will add a copy of Box, which I did put back to the bottom of the deck. So we add Box, and then Box is gonna go ahead and add a copy of Trencher. Keep mi mixing these cards up here. Add a copy of Trencher back to the hand, and then from here, we can go ahead and Special Summon this by tributing off. And then at this point, we're gonna go ahead and link off again into another copy of Goliath. Trencher will go ahead and use its effect to bring back the Harvester. Then we can link both of these off again into that double-headed Anger Knuckle, just like that. And we pretty much have everything set up the way we need to. End phase, the bullet will go ahead and add back the Harvester, and it's pretty much business as usual. Same end board pretty much as the first combo, just a different way to go about getting there. And of course, we had to do some jumping through hoops, if you will to start things off because we had that box in our hand. So hopefully you guys are able to get that one. 
pretty easy to grasp, nothing too complicated there. Uh, but now let's go ahead and ramp it up a little bit with some different combos involving Machina Redeployment. So for this next combo, we've upgraded from one card combos to two card combos. And this one is gonna involve the Machina Redeployment. And this card does require a discard. So we're just gonna put a random card in our hand and we'll just say it's Triple Tactics Talents. Could be anything. And to keep things simple, we're just gonna say it's a piece of non-engine that we end up discarding because you know, what we discard here could potentially alter the plays we make. So again, to keep things as simple as possible, just a copy of Triple Tactics Talent here. So this is technically like a one and a half card combo. So long as you got a card to discard, doesn't really make too big of a difference here. And you're gonna see why this is probably one of the best starters, if not the best starter in the entire deck. So we'll start by activating Mock at a redeployment, discarding talents, we pray that our opponent does not ash it. And if it goes through, we're gonna add a copy of Gear Frame and a copy of Unclass Bear. Now, since Unclass Bear was added from the deck to the hand, we can go ahead and special summon it, and then on summon, send a Machina monster from the deck to the grave. So we're gonna send a copy of Machina Citadel, one of our best pieces of interruptions getting set up in the graveyard already. Next, we're gonna normal summon Gear Frame, activate its effect to go ahead and add a copy of Machina Fortress. Then we're gonna go ahead and go for a rank four play for none other than Gear Gigant X. We'll detach Machina Gear Frame to add a level four or lower machine monster from the deck. So we're gonna go ahead and add a copy of Infinitrack Harvester. Now at this point, we have nine total levels in our hand, so we're gonna go ahead and discard both the Fortress and the Harvester to the graveyard to special summon the Fortress. Now we have two bodies on field, so we'll go ahead and make a Link 2 for the Ancient Gear Ballista. Ballista will add a copy of Ancient Gear Box, and Ancient Gear Box will add a copy of Trencher. From here, we can go ahead and special summon the Fortress again by discarding Trencher and Box. Then we can use Trencher to go ahead and banish itself to bring out the Harvester. Harvester on summon will add a copy of Dozer. At this point, we'll use Harvester to target Fortress to make both their levels the combined uh, sum of their levels. So in this case, it'll be level nine. So we can overlay for a rank nine. And in this case, I'm gonna go for the Phantom Fortress Enter Blathnir. We can detach the Fortress, get that piece of good extension in the graveyard, and rip a random card out of our opponent's hand. Sometimes this will force something like Nibiru, which is pretty good for us. And depending on what we have in Grave, we can still potentially continue to extend past it, right? If we have another high level Earth Machine in Grave, uh, or any machine for that matter, we can pitch it to summon Fortress again, and then Dozer contribute over the Fortress, and we can still try to keep playing from there. So this is a pretty good point to check to see if your opponent has any crucial hand traps, and if they don't, you're probably still in the clear. And at this point, we can go ahead and use the Brutal Dozer by tributing off the Ballista, and Dozer effect will bring out a copy of Tunneler since we did not secure that off of our Ballista. Now we're gonna go for a rank five in that of Riverstormer. Riverstormer will detach and add a copy of the Therion King Regulus. Now, I would add Regulus here if we had no other level 10 monsters in our hand to work with, but let's say we had something like Bullet Train in our hand or Derek Crane, we'd probably want to add one or the other, right? If we had Bullet Train, we'd add Derek Crane. If we had Derek Crane, we'd add Bullet Train. If we have neither, I think it makes perfect sense here to go for Therion King Regulus. And one important thing to note, if you do have Bullet Train in your hand and you end up searching the Derek Crane, one thing you're going to want to do is pitch that Bullet Train to the graveyard to summon back the Fortress because we can't summon Bullet Train right now currently because we do have a Wind Monster on field, so keep that in mind. But what we're gonna do now is use Regulus here, targeting one of the best cards in the graveyard to target with Regulus, and that is a copy of Gear Frame. Gear Frame does have an effect while he is treated as an equip. We can go ahead and special summon him to the field just like that. And at this point, we can just do the old River Stormer shuffle where we link River Stormer into a Goliath. River Stormer will send off the Goliath, and then we link off the River Stormer into another Goliath just like that. Now from here, very, very simple. We just link into Double Headed Anger Knuckle and we can go ahead and use our Tunneler to put back the Ballista, the Goliath, the Goliath, a copy of Girgigant, and we can just put back that Dozer so we have that really solid extender back into our deck. We'll put those there, put that to the bottom, and then for the sake again of the video, we draw into Ash Imperm. Ideally, you're drawing into some sort of non-engine uh, or a nice piece of extension, right? Maybe you're drawing into Overdrive, Maybe you uh, have a bullet set up in Grave and maybe you just drew into a Derek Crane and now you can use this to send itself off to bring back the bullet and then summon Derek Crane and end on a rank 10 as well. And we started with two cards, so we'd have an additional three cards left over in hand. So we end on Regulus, 
with Citadel set up in the graveyard. So if an Earth Machine monster we control is destroyed by battle or card effect, we can special summon Citadel. And then Citadel quick effect can target one machine monster we control. We destroy that monster and all monsters are opponent controls with attack less than or equal to it. So it's just basically going to be a Raikaki for anything 3000 and under. We have the Omni Negate in the form of Regulus. And Phantom Fortress and her Blathner just chilling here is going to put some pressure on our opponent to get rid of it. Because next turn it's going to banish a card they control on target. And we could even threaten a Zeus play with it if we so desire. And Double Headed Anger Knuckles, just a great card to have in circulation at any point in the game. Because it can set up your grave. Really good post side with things like Skill Drain because this can send off our own Skill Drain to make it sort of one side. Decided, and it can set up our graveyard again with things like bullet box get all that into the grave if we don't want it in our hand so yeah that's it for that combo let's move on to a slightly more advanced redeployment combo it's one of my favorite combos actually to pull off in this deck so this next combo like i said still involves redeployment but is a bit more advanced now this combo is definitely a little bit harder to pull off i would say especially when trying to play through interruption but it's definitely one of the most highest ceiling combos i think this deck has and i still think because of that there is still some merit going for it but you know kind of take caution when you do so we're gonna need redeployment a discard and a copy of gear frame here to pull this off so what we're gonna do is start by normal summoning gear frame we'll activate its effect to go ahead and add a copy of unclass bear unclass bear effect will activate to summon itself and then on summon we'll go ahead and send a copy of either citadel or ruin force doesn't matter which one now from here we can go ahead and activate the redeployment discarding our random card and we're going to add a copy of fortress and ruin force or if we ended up sending ruin force we would add citadel here alongside the fortress now we're going to go ahead and overlay into a rank four and of girgigant x and girgigant x will add us a copy of harvester now here we'll special summon the fortress much like we did in the last combo by discarding itself and harvester then we're going to go ahead and link to into the ancient gear ballista ballista will add box and box will add whoops a copy of tunneler now here we can go ahead and summon the fortress uh, again by discarding the box and the trencher then we can use trencher here to go ahead and bring out harvester and harvester effect will add us a copy of the brutal dozer now at this point we're going to go ahead and link both the fortress and the ballista into Quifort Genius. Then we're gonna summon the Fortress yet again by sending off the Ruin Force. Now here we're gonna use Harvester to target Fortress, make them both level nines, and we're gonna summon this, ideally, not in a zone that Quifort Genius points to because you'll see why in a moment. But we're actually gonna make Infinitrack Earth Slicer here instead of our Enter Blast, and you're like we did in the other combo. This is where things get really cool. We're gonna special summon the Ruin Force from our grave by banishing ancient gear box the gear frame and the unclass bear and now we're going to use earth slicer's effect detaching both of its materials to target earth slicer and ruin force and this is going to trigger a couple effects and the order in which we activate these effects actually matters because clifford genius is a when effect so definitely don't forget this we're going to go chain link one ruin force chain link two citadel so Citadel will summon, since an Earth Machine monster we control was destroyed by Battle or Card Effect. And then Chain Link 1 will resolve, which will be Ruin Force, summoning back both the Unclass Bear and the Gear Frame, importantly to the zones that Genius points to, because if we summon two monsters to both of its zones at the same time, we get to add a level five or higher machine monster from our deck to our hand. So we're gonna go ahead and add a copy of Bullet Train here. You could also add Regulus if you like, but if you don't have a level 10, I would recommend adding one. Um, if you do already have a level 10 in hand, I would recommend going for the Regulus play. And now at this point, we're going to link off the Genius and the Unclass Bear into Double-Headed Anger Knuckle. And then we're going to use the Dozer in hand, tributing off the Gear Frame, and then Dozer Effect on field to summon out a copy of Tunneler. Now we're going to go ahead and overlay into the River Stormer. River Stormer will add a copy of Derecrane. Now here we can go ahead and special summon bullet train and then trigger the effect of Dare Crane on summon to go ahead and special summon itself. And then we can go ahead and overlay into the number 81, just like that, had the extract order mixed up a little bit. 
Uh, but now we're just going to go ahead and link off the River Stormer into a Goliath Stormer effect, sending the Goliath. And then we'll link off this River Stormer yet again into another copy of Goliath. And then we can use Tunneler to go ahead and put back the Goliath, the Genius. The Earth Slicer will actually want to leave in the grave because it does have a good graveyard effect. The Ballista, the Gear Gigant X, and a copy of Dozer just like that. So replenishing our entire extra deck pretty much and drawing into two cards, which we'll just say is Regulus and Ash Blossom. Regulus being one of the best possible cards you could draw into at this point. And obviously if you did draw into it, you can just go ahead and special summon it by attaching the gear frame to it. And you end on this board. Now, leaving the Goliath on field is not the end of the world because there's actually some pretty good synergy here. And also one thing that I should mention during the end phase and during the end phase specifically, because if we do this during the main phase, it gives our opponent an opportunity to chain Nibiru, which would completely ruin us. So we want to either wait for them to activate Nibiru to chain the number 81 in response to, so we still end on something regardless, or we activate it in a window where they can't activate Nibiru at all, which would be the end phase. So saying we don't get the Regulus right, Maybe we just get an imperm, but we just proceed to end phase, use the number 81 targeting itself, detaching the bullet, and bullet will go ahead and secure us back that starter, that follow-up for our next turn. And we still have, again, Citadel. We have Dora to protect something, which has the Dare Crane underneath it, which will trigger an effect to be able to pop a card our opponent controls. And we do have, of course, uh, quite a bit of follow-up. We have Harvester Engrave, we have Ruin Force Engrave, we have River Stormer and Earth Slicer and Fortress Engrave. And we'd still have an additional uh, two cards left in hand since we started with three. So we'd have Ash or ideally some piece of non-engine. Uh, the other card we drew, which in this case we'll just say it's not Regulus. Uh, so the two cards we drew, the two remaining cards we had in our hand, and the card that we get back off a of bullet. So we still end on five cards in hand with quite a bit of interruption and follow-up for next turn. Very, very explosive combo. Takes a lot to kind of go right. You just kind of got to like not get hand trapped. Although if you do get hand trapped at certain points, you could still probably pivot to other plays. Uh, when in doubt, just setting up a simple rank 10 at the end of the day can just be your best bet or just trying to resolve Tunneler and putting back as many extra deck monsters as possible to draw into more extenders and non-engine, right? Some very, very easy plays to sort of pivot and fall back on if you do get interrupted. So one of my favorite combos there. Let's take a look at another one. So for the next combo here, we're kind of taking a step back. We're going back to a two card combo. This is also slight variation on our just one card combo with Infinitrack Harvester. This is how to kind of upgrade that combo a little bit to end on more than just Knuckle and Draw 2. This is going to allow us to end on Knuckle, Draw 2, plus number 81, which is one of the best boss monsters to put up on your board because it's going to give a lot of decks a hard time trying to get over an unaffected monster with 4,000 defense. That has a pop underneath it as well. They're going to need something like Underworld Goddess to get over it, and they're investing a lot just to get rid of one of our cards to potentially play into some more hand traps, right? So let's start off this combo by normal summoning harvester activating its effect here to go ahead and add a copy of dozer we're going to go for an early link one of the goliath then we're going to activate dozer effect here to go ahead and special summon itself now from here if you really wanted to you could chain block the brutal dozer from ash by going chain link one dozer chain link to dare crane so for the sake of the video we'll just go ahead and say we do that although it does play a little bit harder into nib but nib's gonna hurt regardless here no matter what we do and then chain link one will resolve the dozer will bring out the trencher. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and overlay into our good old pal River Stormer, and River Stormer is gonna go ahead and add a copy of Bullet Train, or if you already have Bullet Train, you could just grab something like, you know, a Regulus, right? Now here, we're gonna go ahead and link into the Goliath, and from here, we're gonna go ahead and link into a copy of the Ballista, getting rid of the Derek Crane there, don't worry, it'll come back. Wad Box, and then add a copy of, tr of Tunneler. And one thing you might be noticing too, uh, we pretty much always grab whichever one uh, we don't get off of the Dozer. So like if Dozer summons Tunneler, Ballista with Box is going to grab us Trencher and vice versa. Now here we're going to go ahead and tribute over the Ballista to summon out the Tunneler. And then we're going to go ahead and link this Tunneler into that last Goliath. Then we'll special summon Bullet. And then here we still have Trencher Engrave. So we're going to go ahead and use that now to bring back the Harvester. And then we're going to link off the Harvester and the Goliath into Bullet. And then we'll use Bullet Discarding Box to go ahead and bring back our Dare Crane. And just like that, we have access to our Rank 10. So we'll go ahead and summon that now. In Defense Position, 
And then we can use Tunneler to go ahead and put back the three Goliaths, the Ballista, and you can either put back the Box or the Dozer. Really up to you on what you want to do. I'm probably just going to put the Dozer back in uh, to the deck. And we'll put these back here. And again, for the sake of the test and video, we're just going to say, like always, we draw into a few pieces of non-engine. We started with two cards, which means we have three cards left over if we were going first. So we end with five cards in hand technically six because right during the end phase we're going to use number 81 detaching the bullet to go ahead and add back our harvester so we end with six cards in our hand off with those uh, original two that we started with and again you can see how this is just a slight variation building upon that one card harvester combo that we started the video with so that's this combo in a nutshell very very simple ending on a slightly more robust end board Let's take a look at, I believe, the last combo of the video. So for the last combo I have to share with you guys today, it's just going to be Gear Frame plus any extender. It could be Bullet Train, it could be Derek Crane, I believe it could also be Fortress as well. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use Bullet Train. And this is going to show you guys how that the Gear Frame engine can bridge into your Infinitrack engine and essentially how you can sort of treat gear frame like another copy of Harvester with the help of a card in our extra deck. So we're going to start by normal summoning the gear frame. Gear frame will add a copy of Unclass Bear. Unclass Bear, since it was added, will special summon itself, and then we'll trigger its effect on summon to send a copy of Citadel from the deck to the grave. And we're going to go ahead and overlay into Gear Gigant X by detaching the gear frame. Gear Gigant X will search as a copy of Harvester, and then here we'll special summon out our extender. Um, if we do have Derek Crane, importantly, we're, we're going to want to use it on the summon of Gear Gigant. Otherwise, we'll miss our window to summon it completely. And of course, if we have the Fortress, we can just summon the Fortress by pitching itself and the Harvester. And then we would link into the Ballista and play things out differently. But not having Fortress here is going to force us to use a different card in our extra deck, which we have yet to use. And some of you might already know what that is. We're going to link into a copy of Platinum Gadget. Now, this card says... That it cannot be used as link material the turn that it is summoned, but it says during your main phase you can special summon one level 4 or lower machine monster from your hand to a zone this card points to. So we're going to use that to special summon our harvester from our hand, and now it's basically like we get to do our standard harvester combo. So we just had a few extra steps in front of it, right? And that's kind of one of the nice things about the Machina cards, is not only can they be great on their own, uh, but now we've basically set up our standard Infinitrack combo, and we have a little bit extra engraved to work with uh, before we even get into it. So Harvester will go ahead and add a copy of Dozer. And then before we go any further, we'll use the Dozer in hand, tributing off the Harvester. And then Do Dozer Effect will activate to go ahead and special summon a copy of Trencher. We'll overlay into a copy of River Stormer. River Stormer will add a copy of Regulus. Then here we're going to go ahead and link into Goliath through that Stormer Shuffle. I don't know what else to call it. Link, Summon, Link. And then we're going to go ahead and use the effect of Trencher in Graveyard to bring back Harvester. And then we're just going to go ahead and link both of these into a copy of Ballista. Ballista will add a copy of Box, and then Box will add a copy of Tunneler. We'll use the Tunneler here to tribute off the Ballista, linking off the Tunneler into that last copy of Goliath. And then from here, we don't have to do a whole lot. I mean, we could put the Regulus on field just to kind of protect that draw too if we want. And we'll equip it with a Gear Frame. And then we can special summon the gear frame as well. And then we're going to want to go ahead and link the gear frame and that last Goliath into Knuckle. And then we can go ahead and use Tunneler to put back all three copies of Goliath, Ballista, and Gear Gigant X. So we can put back five extra deck monsters with this for a clean draw two into the deck. And for the sake of the video, again, like always, we're going to say we draw into two pieces of non-engine. So what do we end with? We end with these three additional cards in our hand. We do get the end phase add back a bullet to grab back Harvester. We have Citadel set up in Grave as Interruption. And we have Regulus on field as an Omni Negate. And the Anger Knuckle can bring out Bullet Train at any point during our opponent's turn. So if they get rid of it, two things happen. We get Citadel to trigger in Grave to come out as an Interruption, a Walking Raigeki. And if it gets cleared, of course, we also get another end phase add back to help fuel our follow-up and potentially go for a very easy OTK. So very, very easy combo there. Again, a good way to showcase how the Machina cards can get you into your Infinitrack card, which is great. Without needing things like redeployment, you can just do it with basic things like gear frame and an extender. 
And that's all I have to show for you guys today for combos. I hope you learned something. I hope I was able to cover the basics as well as some more advanced lines. I'm sure there's tons of other combos that you could do. Some that of which I covered in my guide video that I made a few years back. If you want to see that, I'll link that uh, on this video as well up in the top right or the description. And if you guys watch this video and you enjoyed it, thank you so much. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, we're going to kill a signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one. And of course, a big shout out goes to our current Divine Level channel members who are Robin's Assistant, HG8 Cyber, Mizfid, Green, Cadillacs, and Pony Stark. Thank you guys so much, like always, for your extremely kind and very generous support of the channel.